<laughs> oh, you want me to do the smash the button? <laughs> Welcome everybody, thank you for joining us on the third stop of our e-mountain bike destinations tour. Today we're here at Zion Mountain Ranch. Today we'll be bringing you along as we showcase a family operated ranch which has farm to table food, amazing cabins, and a ton of really cool new mountain bike trails that you're going to want to check out. We've even got a special guest, Red Bull Rampage competing free ride legend. Stay tuned to find out who it is. And also a chicken. Well, folks, we are here at the top of the climb with our special guest this episode. It is Mr. Tyler McCall. Tyler, thank you for calling me and telling me about this place. Of course. We've not ridden very much yet. This is our first day here, but unbelievable stuff. We're at the start deck here. Tell us a little bit about your involvement and what is going on here. Um, so I met the McClaws that own Zion Mountain Ranch about a year and a half ago now and they told me they wanted to build some trails. So they brought me in to kind of help with consulting and uh, kind of help with what they should build, what they should do, not to outlaw e-bikes on the trails so they're open to everyone and hire the right trail builders to build them so they turn out sweet. And the beauty of it is it's all private land. So there's no red tape, there's no hurdles to jump through. Right. Um, so the trail builders kind of have free reign to build whatever awesome they see and feel like building. It doesn't have to be like super small jumps or all tabletops or anything. So right now the trails that we've been riding look like they don't have a ton of traffic on them. What is currently open and when the rest of it does open, how many miles are people expecting to have here? So this phase will open this summer. Okay. Um, that's what we're shooting for. Uh, phase one is down lower, and there's gonna be a connection all the way from that phase up to phase two, which is this one. Okay. Um, and they're at about 10 now, and they're working away as we speak. That's phase one. Well, we're burning daylight. Let's go explore some more miles. Sounds good. Thanks for showing us around. Of course. tell people like where we're situated and where we're located exactly right I mean because we've just spent hours and hours you know driving riding living on the other side of what's behind us and yeah there are no big green beautiful pastures like this to be seen right and right. it's, it's yeah. a trip to just come out of Zion National Park and you have this and big instantly open. see this big green grassy yeah. field yeah we're just three miles on the just from the eastern entrance of Zion National Park so um, you know we just to the east of, of Zion. We're really, we border it. So the property goes all the way down, borders it for a good mile and a half, two miles on that side. Some of those parcels you were riding on, the parcel is bordering Zion National Park. You know? okay. So Zion National Park is right there. We're trying to preserve the open space, preserve what we have, but you know, we're really trying to um, have economic growth, but not ruin it. Yeah. That's a tricky thing to balance, but you know, we, we think you know, that's what we're going for. So this is the kind of main hub for phase one. Okay. There's three different trails that split off here. But the cool thing about this part is eventually there will be biker suites right here, they're calling them. Um, and there'll be cabins kind of specifically catered to mountain bikers who want to come here and ride the trails. And we're talking about implementing like little workstations with a work stand, some like bare essential tools. Okay. Um, but you'll have cabins right here. Sip your morning coffee, watch people ride the trails, and then hop on your bike. No way. And then there will also be a bike shop okay. over here. Thank Todd's you. like, all right, what's the coolest bike shop you've ever been to in the world? He's like, we want this to be the coolest bike shop there is. And so it's got like really cool architecture, and the trail will actually like go through or underneath the like patio area, which will also be overlooking this. Yeah. Um, so it'll be super unique and cool. Dude. And you'll be able to rent bikes from there too. Um, so if you don't even have a bike, you can come stay in the biker suites here, rent a bike there, experiment on the greens, and then go up to the top. Wow. 
now, as far as the the current number and amount of trails um, and your current status in terms of being open, you know, yeah. for for the public, where does that sit? Where are you guys at? Um, so right now we got. I mean, we haven't officially opened anything but ten. And that's now, phase one. Yeah, that's phase one. Okay. Now, right now, we don't have. We're not stopping anybody from going on the others. But technically, the whole phase two isn't open yet. We're expecting to open that here, in just you know, July. Um, get that all open up with the new trailhead and all that stuff. So that'll be, and that'll be an additional 25. Okay. Um, so with, but hopefully by this summer, then you'll have 35, 35 miles of yeah. trail. Yeah. So that's going to be really cool. Of purpose built stuff. None of this double track that we just converted over. It's all. Yeah. Yeah. Fresh it's all very built. built. <laughs> My company is called Apex Trail Construction. Started it in 2018. Okay. And I've been building trails for about 15 years total. And how many guys do you have here in your crew? Currently we have four. Okay. Um, there's there's two different contractors here. Um, Kyle Cheston, his company is called Trail Provision, Provisions. Okay. And Will Hatab and his company is called Loam Improvement. What, uh, what would you say stands out to you about this place, either you know, working for Zion Mountain Ranch, the terrain, the dirt, the trails, anything that's like special or significant to you? I think, uh, I mean, the scenery is insane. Yeah. As you can tell. For uh, sure. I've never had an opportunity to work in terrain like this. Okay. Um, it's just, it, it undulates so much, like there's so many cool rocks and so many cool lines to use and it like, it just opens up so many doors for creativity and especially getting to the more expert trails. Mm -hmm. It's it's really fun to work here. Yeah. And you guys have got a pretty good mix of green to black trails that you've been working on, right? It all varies from green, blue, black. Starting with the green trail, you know, it's I wouldn't say that it's a green trail for the never ever bike rider. Mm -hmm. I'd say it's a green trail for a beginner mountain biker. Okay. Uh, the blue trails are a little faster, a little more bermed. Then obviously into the black trail, we've got big berms and jumps and steeper lines and black garden. What's your favorite part about this consulting gig? Um, favorite part is testing the trails, testing the trails. I get to just come out and ride them before they're open and make you know recommendations and make sure everything's flowing right and recommend signage if, you know, if there's a split that is confusing or something like that. But trail testing is definitely the best part. My passion is mountain biking, which is why it's so far taken off. You know, right. <laughs> it's like that was the uh, as well as we're doing it all on private land, so we're able to design and build. So we have hiking on the south side of the highway, and then mountain biking on the north. Now, due to the fact that we can, you know, design build um, and funding, uh, design fairs helped a lot. King County's helped a lot. We, you know, we got another phase that we're likely to get the grant on, um, where I'd say. And we're very, very sure, you know, 99% sure that we're going to get a grant for phase three of mountain biking. Okay. Um, we might end up with four phases before we even get to building any hiking trail. So oh, at that wow. point, we'll have a lot of miles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're going to be stacked. Keeping in line with like being a ranch, right? You are a working ranch. Um, yeah, we do have a lot of ranch stuff. You have a bison yeah. burger on the menu. There are bison out here in the field. Are they the yeah. same? Like, are you guys, um, I, sometimes. I heard there's a chicken that, that's got like 12 eggs that they're laying right now. Like, are we eating the stuff yes. that is here on the ranch? Yes, you are. Um, I will say with bison burger, we, we use all the bison we get out of the herd, which we have, we, we keep the population like right in between 45 to 60. So though we sell a lot of bison burgers. Yeah. We can't quite keep up. We'd have to have a much larger herd to support all of it. So, okay. but we, I mean, we're trying to be farm to table as we can possibly, we got this greenhouse that's growing greens and stuff. And uh, we have a farm, we, you know, the eggs, we have a whole egg farm across okay. the road. Okay. Um, you know, we try to, we try to keep it all local as possible. Very you know, cool. Which local being like within stone's throw just about. Right? Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, walk across the road and grab it. So how many cabins do you have in total here on, on your properties? Oh, uh, 65. Okay. Yeah. And they're all different size, right? We're staying in a, a pretty large and you're, spacious you're staying, cabin. You're staying in a larger one. So, um, I mean, 
Six you can people. have a couple hundred people on site here pretty yeah. easily. Yes. Well, thank you guys very much for coming along on a special episode of the e-bike destination tour. Tyler, thank you so much for uh, reaching out to us, man, and saying that we need to come check this place out. I think it was a worthwhile detour from the route we were originally planning on. Um, it was awesome as always to hang out with you and ride. Uh, if you got any parting words for the people about coming up here, I know you're gonna be here a lot more often since you're an hour away, but. Yeah, exactly. Um, big takeaways for you about this property, the place, and the future. Um, come check it out. It's free, open to the public, and uh, you can book one of these cabins, stay here, eat at the awesome restaurant, see some bison, and uh, ride some unique trails. Unique to the area, for sure. Rob, what were your thoughts, man? place is a huge amount of fun, right? Uh, some seriously fun flow trails, and this is just the beginning. You know, it's only gonna get bigger and better. Trails are only gonna get more dialed, and uh, yeah, I definitely think it's worth checking out if you're in the area. Yeah, and for you being like a total stranger, right, to desert riding as a whole, coming from, you know, where we started in Phoenix and just bouncing through rocks to this, what were your thoughts if you were to be traveling from abroad and coming back to Utah to ride, would this be one of the stops you'd have to come back to. I think so, yeah. I mean, I, I love the more kind of groomed stuff and uh, you've got it in abundance here. It's just super fun and uh, definitely a nice break from the desert and the rocks. Yeah. So Tyler, hopefully you'll come join us next time again. Heck yeah. Don't forget to smash <laughs> that, this thing right, he's gonna put it right here. Can you smash <laughs> that like button or there's a link or something, right? Yeah, let's get him to subscribe while we're at Don't it Don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe to the channel, guys. Thank you very much. I can't believe you got me to do that. I got him to do it. <laughs> he doesn't even have a YouTube channel. No. Leave a comment if you want Tyler to start a YouTube channel. I do, you can follow it if you want. I post things sometimes, not very often, <laughs> but I got one. <laughs> right on. See you guys, thanks for coming along.